Welcome back to Robin's Kitchen. Today, the theme is All Things Spice. My special guests are Janique, CEO of Naturally Shea New Orleans, Liz, CEO of The Sweet Life, and you know my little sis, my ride or die out here in NOLA, Latrina. Do you like mangoes like I like mangoes? Do you like salad like I like salad? Well, come on, do you like spice like I, I like spice? Well, we're gonna make a spicy mango salad with my friend Janique. Let me tell you about my friend Janique here. Okay. This is the first person I met in New Orleans. So when I started working here, this is the first person I met. And she has an awesome business called Naturally Shea. Tell us a little bit about your business, Janique. All right, so Naturally Shea is a handmade skincare line. Um, we have whipped butters, uh, like shea butter and mango butter. Mango mm -hmm. butter, um, on, mango. which is made from the seed, not the actual fruit. So sometimes people get confused on that. Uh, we also have sugar scrubs, black soaps, um, whatever you may need, we probably can provide. If you need any type of skin regimen, just get with us. And she ships nationwide. Yes. So we will have her information in the description box. Naturally Shay, this is my girl Janique. Hello. So, let's get started with this salad. So the first yes. thing I want you to hey, do, I'm excited. we're let's gonna make the dressing it. first. So with dressing. the dressing, we're gonna use a white balsamic vinegar. White balsamic vinegar. So I got this at Trader Joe's for like a dollar, two dollars. So we just pour a little. Joke. So I'm gonna pour it, I just okay. want you to stir. All right. I'm just pour. Okay. okay. I don't even know why we stirring. <laughs> Cause you said so. Okay. And then we're gonna add, I got a light tasting olive oil because we wanna taste all the goodies, fruits and vegetables. Yes. So we're gonna pour a little bit of that. I am so excited about this. Okay. It's spicy, right? So we're gonna put a red chili oil. Yes. Come on, red chili oil. I, lo I love the way this stuff smells. It tastes Ooh, so good. that's about to be spicy. Let me put a little bit more vinegar. Okay. And then we're gonna add honey. A little bit of honey. And why are we adding the honey? For the sweetness. Okay. Awesome. And to emulsify it. Awesome. All right. Woo wee. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, some pink Himalayan salt. Okay. Is there like a significance for the pink versus the black or? I just, I was gonna say. <laughs> Look, the you black, know? I heard great things about the black Himalayan salt, but. No, I'm just saying black. Uh, you said salt. I'm thinking about pepper. Oh, but okay, girl. Look. But the, I've heard I want you to great try things it. about the pink Himalayan salt. Yeah, also. try some. It was a dollar ninety nine. Okay. Try that dressing and tell me what you think. Does it mean, what does you think it means? Uh, I think more of the. Trust your taste buds. Maybe more of the chili. Oh, girl, come Just on. a little bit, and maybe more, a little more of the, because it has a, it has bite. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to have the bite from the, well, let's. Do you want it to have the bite? Yeah, from oh, you the, know I love the girl. I love a bite. Okay. I'm gonna bite. <laughs> I'm gonna bite. Yeah, because it has the bite from the, uh, the vinegar. Okay, so, so you want a little bit more oil? Yes. Okay, olive oil. Okay, we can add more or less. So, first, so what we're gonna use is a uh, Persian cucumber. It's long. So this one, it's um, half of one. So what I've done is sliced it, okay? So this is sliced, this is one and a half Persian cucumber sliced. So they're like $1.39 at Walmart. I um, sliced one half of a red onion. We have some shredded carrots that you can buy at the store, shredded carrots. We have two mangoes sliced. Okay. That's two. And then we have cilantro. Okay. Cilantro. Yes. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, okay. get it, get it. Okay. So my First thing you're going to put is the mangoes. Mango. Okay. So mango goes in. Ooh mm -mm. Okay. So next cucumber. Okay. So she's a good place <laughs> Cucumber. Alright. Alright. We got studio onions too. We got a little DJ in the back. Hey, DJ. Hey, DJ. That's her baby. He's him once. He's so cute. He's mm -hmm. the cutest baby ever. 
And we got Trina, as usual. And then we got Liz. Hey, Liz. Okay. We got the, the shredded carrots. Yeah. Look at isn't this beautiful? Yes, so it's cold. very, very. Mm -hmm. Girl, you want that mango good. Good. utensil? Mm -hmm. Of course, I want the mango. <laughs> Me and DJ were eating on mangoes prior yes. to. Come on, mango. Okay, we're gonna add the red onion. Red onion's pungent. I love red onions. You know, but it's good for salads. Like red onions, good raw for salad. Look at this colorful. Oh my god. And then let's add the cilantro. You can put more or less. A lot of people don't like cilantro. Some people say it tastes like soap, depending on your taste buds. But hey, okay, I so like it. How much? You we can do half of that. Because like, like I said, not everybody, you know me, I'll put the whole thing in there. Yeah, I like cilantro too. Come on, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Yeah. Just pick it out. Pick it out with your fingers. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh Lord. Yeah. This is. It's very beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. beautiful. So I'm gonna give you some to try. Let me get you a sauce. Put in this bowl with you. Okay, okay. You got a little, I'm gonna give you a fork. Mm-hmm. Get every little piece. So I got everything on my fork. Let's go for it. Does it need more salt, pepper? Oh. All right, but it's good, it's really good. It's really, really good. I would make this at home. This is very like healthy, light and refreshing. Mm -hmm. It was quick. Mm -hmm. You don't make you feel too guilty. Nope. So there you have it, y'all. Spicy mango salad with my girl Janique. Hey, hey. Uh, and give it to me now. Uh, give it to me now, now. Hi, and welcome back to Robin's Kitchen. Today it is all things spice, and I have my special guest here, Latrina Lede. You may remember her from our charcuterie episode. So I decided to bring my friend back because you know what? We're gonna make some Thai inspired shrimp, and I'm gonna give my friend some recipes that she can use at her new beautiful home. So this is something easy, a few ingredients, but it has maximum flavor, minimum effort. You know that that's what I like maximum oh. flavor minimum effort so the first thing we're gonna do we got some good Louisiana Gulf shrimp so I got this myself I got I, I had to clean it up had to shell and devein it I was like Lord help me so we got three pounds so Trina get that three pounds of shrimp look at that I want you to pour that three pounds of shrimp in there look at that look how juicy it don't smell cuz you know why I clean my shrimp, baby. I clean my shrimp real good. I get in the crooks and the crevices. That's what we do. So, first thing we're gonna do, we have two tablespoons of grated ginger. You can buy it in the produce section, but I grated it myself. I got my little box here, I'm just like, <laughs> grated it. So we got grated ginger and five cloves of minced garlic. And you can buy that already minced at the store as well. So, I want you to dump that in there. And stir it up. Make sure it gets in all the crooks and the crevices. Make sure all the shrimp get it. Yes, girl. Come on, shrimp. Mm -hmm. All right. So next, we're gonna add the green onion. It's a lot of green onion. We don't have to put all of it. Just a little bit. A little bit more. Stir that in there, real good. Oh my God. Most important, I forgot to add the um, olive oil so the spices and seasonings can stick. So I'm gonna spread a little olive oil. It's about two yeah. tablespoons of olive oil. There's some extra virgin olive oil. Get all that Ooh, shrimp coated. smells so good already. Come on. Okay, so you know we have the fresh ingredients here. So I want to add the dry so the flavor can just whoo, burst in your mouth. So what I'm gonna do, keep on stirring, is add a tablespoon of ground ginger. You know, we gotta have the Thai flavors in here. The ground ginger. I wish I had some lemon um, lemongrass, but I didn't go to the store, so okay. I'm adding my own little chili powder. I like a little chili. Mm -hmm. So it's about a teaspoon of chili powder. Get it all coated in there. And we're gonna add garlic flour. Garlic flour, garlic powder. We gotta layer the flavor. So garlic powder. I love garlic powder. See, don't it smell good? I got a little bit, this is some pink Himalayan sea salt. Just a couple of, three, just a couple. 
of those. Okay, mm. this is what makes it spicy. Red pepper flake. Get that in there, baby. Yes. Your booty gonna be burning. <laughs> Huh, <laughs> shout out right. You know, me and my brother be saying crazy nose. stuff. Okay, got some black pepper. Okay, and then I'm going to grate a little bit of a lime. So we're going to grate this lime in here. Lime zest. Just a little bit. Mm. I could add, you know what? Let me just squeeze a little bit of that lime. In there. Let me get my squeezer. Can you move mm -hmm. real quick, baby? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. It smells like paradise. So, bam. That's all we need. Not too much. We don't want to overpower um, the shrimp, but look at this. Smells so good. So good. So we're gonna let it marinate in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna broil the shrimp. But you can saute it. You can put it on the grill, whatever your heart's desire. So we're gonna pair this with creamy grits because we're in the South, we're gonna do shrimp and grits, okay? Hey. Thai style. Instead, you know, I was thinking about doing coconut rice, but I was like, nah, let's do some grits because you know, I can make some grits, baby. I can make some thick grits. So we'll see you in 30 minutes. Ta-ta. Hey, you guys. So our shrimp has been marinating for 30 minutes. So we have placed it strong on this baking sheet, lined baking sheet. So what I'm gonna do next is put it under the broiler so we can get that intense flavor. It cooks quickly, but the flavor is intense. You can saute it if you want to, whatever your preference. You can saute it, you can put it on the grill, whatever you want. But I decided, because my friend loves flavor, and she's had my shrimp and grits before, so multiple times. Come on, flavor. We're gonna put it under the broiler. It's gonna cook a little under eight minutes. We don't want our shrimp to be rubbery. So, we'll see you in eight minutes when the shrimp is ready to be dripping on some grits, baby. Mwah! Hi, you guys, we're back. The shrimp have cooked for like 10 minutes. So, Trina, show them what the shrimp look like. Mm, beautiful. It smells like, look at this. Oh my God, it smells so amazing. Perfect texture. Yes, it is. Cause you know Robin know how to cook a little bit. <laughs> a little. Oh, uh, you dripping juice on my carpet, girl. <laughs> Whoopsie. So, so next what we're gonna do, these creamy grits. Look at these grits. Yeah. Creamy grits. How do you make your grits, Robin? Oh, with heavy cream and half and half butter, chicken bouillon, a little pepper. Uh, a little salt. Like a, a I'm burning a little bit at the bottom. But it's all good. So, Trina, I want you to put those grit, I mean, those shrimp on top of these grits. Perfect consistency. And I'll help you with that. I'm sorry. I'm going to bad boy down here. <laughs> Your heavenly father, the shrimp and grits. Yes, guys. Ooh. Get all the juice. Come on, praise them. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Look at all that. I want all that juice. All the grits. We made a little mess, but it's all good. And there you have it Thai shrimp and country grits. Don't it look good? Well, here, try a little bit, Trina. Don't mind if I do it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Do we want an honest opinion? Yes. Mm. It's so good. The texture of the grits and the shrimp. Mm. It's the second line in my mouth going right now. Come on, second, second line. line Come on, second line. <laughs> mm. All right, so there you have it. You guys, thank you for Hi, watching. welcome back to Robin's Kitchen. So, I have with me Miss Liz again. Yes. You guys remember her from the Oreo balls? Back to she back made, videos. Come on, back to back <laughs> videos. She made those beautiful Oreo balls. So what we're gonna do now is make a cocktail. And this is gonna be spicy. So, it's gonna have limeade, 
is gonna have cucumber puree, jalapeno infused, simple syrup. And let me tell you how I make it. One cup of sugar, one cup of water, bring it to a boil, turn it down, slice some jalapenos, let it steep like tea, let it steep. And then just cover it up for a while, and I'll put it in mason jars. So, and I wanted the jalapeno peppers in it. It just gives it like a floral note. It's not too spicy, but it's, it gives it a little, mm. you're gonna be like, man, what is that? A little jalapeno. A little kick. A little, yeah, a little kick. kick. And then you know we gotta put our tequila in there. Yes. Come on, tequila. tequila. Yes. Make it good. So, Liz, the first thing I want you to do in this picture here, well, we're going to, no, first thing we're gonna do, I have um, sliced some cucumbers in line and I froze them. Because I don't want to put ice, I don't want to dilute my cocktail. I need it to be strong, like I like my man. Strong, okay? So we want a strong cocktail. So what we're gonna do is put this, um, the sliced lemons and cucumbers in this pitcher here. Okay. So put that in there, all of it. All of it. Simple. Now we're gonna pour some of this limeade in there. Shake, shake. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Man, let's put a little bit in there. Okay, but stop. We're gonna pour the um, cucumber. Um, the cucumber. Ooh, add a little seven up too. Lemon lime. We're gonna add a little effervescence. Come on, cucumber. Yes. Okay, stir that cucumber. Get it all in there. Ooh. Yeah, I'll y'all can smell this. It. Like it's yes. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of this simple syrup in there. And we're gonna get some jalapenos in there. Ooh, so pour that in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The color too, like the color of everything. And this is good for like a little springtime gathering, a little summertime brunch, you know, like yeah, on the on the porch. Pour the rest of the limeade in there. Okay, now I'm gonna pour tequila. The main ingredient. Ooh, ooh, Jesus. Smell it, girl. Oh. Yeah. Okay, pour some tequila. Pour as much as you want. Nah, not me, I'll put a whole <laughs> Okay, that's enough. Half of it, yeah. So half of that tequila. We're gonna stir it real good. I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of 7-Up. A little 7-Up. Just a because it's lemon and lime. Give it a little bubble. If I was crunk, I'll put some uh, champagne, because you know I like champagne. Woo wee. So, yes. I'm gonna give you some, we're going to pour some in this little beautiful tequila glass. Okay, so we gotta have a little bit of air. A little bit of so I can pour. Come on. Ooh, I feel fancy. Take a sip and tell me what you think. Yeah, this is it. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, this is gonna be called the Cucumber Tequila Sunrise. Yes. Get it, yes! So we're gonna put this in the ice box. We're gonna let it chill for like 30 minutes so it can get nice and cold to go with our shrimp, to go with our mango salad, and we're gonna tear it up.